Hey guys, I got a short video for y'all today. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading as much lately. Um, had a family emergency come up. I'll actually be really busy until October of this year, so you probably won't see as much content coming out, but uh, I was home and I'm working on a board for, well, I'm working on two for a guy, but uh, this one I saw and I was like, okay, uh, I gotta do a really quick clip on this. Um, normally I wouldn't do one because he's kind of, he's in a rush, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But let me go real quick over this. Um, let's, uh, see this initial, which I've seen on a lot of them that have been repaired before. Normally they just have like a little red mark from the factory. Maybe this is another quality control mark from the factory. I'm not sure. I've seen it a couple of times on repaired ones. Normally they have a red mark there, so okay, whatever. Um, but this, you can see them. There you go. There's a nice look at who did the repair. So the repair they did is they replaced this one and this one, and then they replaced one, two dead bulbs. That's, that's all they did on here. Um, they uh, left all of the original stepper motors in all the other spots. So it's got C5s. Here, let me pull this up where you can see. There you go, you can see some X27, some C5s, and some replaced bulbs, and some... Ooh, focus, you fuck! Focus! Alright, I'll, I'll get it under the microscope so you can see the other really shitty, uh, crappy solder joints they did. Um, so yeah, let's transfer over to that, but, um, okay. Alright, uh, hopefully it's not too noisy. I got my AC going in here. It's hot. There's balls down here in South Georgia. But yeah, in that last scene, um, you saw I went through all of them. Uh, so yeah, this guy over here looks like crap. Um, these over here look like crap. These don't look like you even touched them. Um, yeah, a lot of them look like they didn't even work on them. The uh, solder joints on the back, they don't look too bad though. So. I guess he's alright with through hole. Through hole components aren't too hard for him, but uh, just uh, don't let don't let him touch your surface mounts. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, don't. I would not recommend going to this guy. Uh, so this gets a not recommend from me. Maybe he didn't do the work. Who knows? Maybe, maybe he only replaced the stepper motors, but didn't do that. I can't say for sure. But uh, yeah. Uh, not gonna give a recommend to uh, who is that? Um, a plus speedo. You get an F. A plus speedo is actually um, you know D minus to F territory. So you, you failed. Uh, you're not getting my recommendation. Sorry. Hey, real quick before I end this video, I'm just gonna talk about it. Uh, so that uh, instrument cluster, it was A plus speedo out of. Jacksonville that did that work um, To be fair to them. I can't guarantee that that crappy soldering was done by a plus speedo, you know, that could have been uh, Somebody else that had worked on the cluster before or after them because uh, like I said a, the uh, the through hole where they had replaced the two uh, Stepper motors it, it did look all right, so um, it, th that might not have been them that had done the crappy soldering, but I do think it's kind of crappy to only replace, you know, the two stepper motors that are, have gone bad, because I mean, anybody that has worked on these before knows, you know, like, once one of the C5s go bad, they're all on the verge of going bad, so when you replace one, you should really replace all of them, so... To be a professional shop that you know actually has you know, your own building to do it out of, you, you really ought to be to that level of work where you're not just replacing single stepper motors and just replacing the burnout bulbs because there were, what, two, two bulbs that had been replaced on that and two stepper motors? I mean, that's definitely not, you know, 
A plus kind of work. So, to be fair, they may not have done the crappy solder work that was on those uh, uh, the resistors on there, but the the work done to the stepper motors that's that's really just not right to do as a shop. But uh, back to my stuff, uh, I got in the little circuit boards, uh, so I guess I need to find some time to do the video on these. Uh, obviously, this is just a prototype, it's really big. I still need to work it down to a smaller, more reasonable size on here. But yeah, these, uh, these do work, uh, and you don't have to have the capacitor there. It's got one built in. Uh, I just put the spots on there on this prototype board to see what works better, so uh, it's on there to figure it out. Uh, I also got a uh, little CAN bus uh, guy in the mail here recently, so that way I can mess with some of these guys on the CAN bus. Uh, I recently learned that I'm a total idiot and that the uh, clusters that I really do the most of, like the 03 to 07 ones, that is class 2. Uh, I, I can't believe I never realized that it wasn't CAN bus all this time. Uh, you know, I knew that the ones before it were class two. Uh, I just made an assumption that the uh, 03 and ups were all uh, CAN bus, but those are class two also. So, yeah, you know, you learn some, you, you know, sometimes you're wrong. So I made an assumption and, uh, yeah, I was wrong. And then uh, that uh, last rebuild, this guy went out on me, but uh, I fixed it so it's back up and running. The uh, vacuum pump had gotten clogged, so I took it apart and ran some compressed air through it, and it's back up and running. So uh, yeah, these uh, these cheap uh, Anesty uh, ZD915 uh, desoldering, that's, that's what I use. Uh, I really like them. I think they do a good job, and for the price, I, I you know I think I paid a hundred bucks for mine. Uh, I, I've I've probably used it on fifty instrument clusters so far, so it's definitely paid for itself. When it does finally go out, I'll probably get a Haco or Hacko, however you say it. Uh, I think it's Haco, but uh, whatever you know, uh, I'll I'll eventually upgrade from this cheap. Uh, guy but for now uh it's been serving me well so it is quick easy repair um but yeah i just wanted to make sure that i was giving a fair review of that board that came through you know it was pretty pretty hard on it at first so let me backtrack before i upload it and people start giving me flack saying oh you know they could have you know whatever you whatever i just just want to make sure i'm fair to them i'm not trying to slander them or anything just saying if you're gonna have your own shop just replace all of the stepper motors they're like two dollars a piece when you buy them in bulk uh if you buy like 500 or more they're like a dollar 70 a piece so if you're gonna replace them, just replace them all. Don't just replace the one or two that have gone bad because as this guy ran into, his fuel one went out and a couple, uh, one other one, uh, his fuel and oil pressure went out on him. So, you know, just replace them all when you're in there. Is, uh, I, if I can replace them all at $80 a repair and replace all the bulbs, then you know if your shop's charging two hundred dollars you have no excuse to be not replacing them all so i'll get off this rant here because you know now i'm making this like a 10 minute video which was supposed to be a quick one but yeah hey if you liked what you saw uh you know hit the like button subscribe uh if you didn't like it then click the you didn't like it button it's it's all right it won't hurt my feelings you know this is just a hobby for me so uh yeah if you got any suggestions for anything else you'd like to see put it down in the comments uh more than happy to pick up other instrument clusters at the junkyard to work on or something if it's something different give me some ideas here but uh you know i do have this video coming up uh i got uh i'll, I'll be doing a video on these and then uh yeah, I think that's uh, I think those are the two that I got coming up in the works for you guys. So yeah, just uh, like and subscribe. I uh, hope you learned something. Bye.